afternoon, everyone. Joe Thatcher here with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. Uh, behind me here is not one, but two uh, Silver Ship MK2 bridge erection boats. Uh, we just got both these units in, ran them through the shop. Uh, Going to be listing them up on our website this week. Kind of wanted to do a short walk around video, kind of explain some of the characteristics of these boats. So both of these units were built in 2007. Uh, they have 5.9 turbocharged marine diesel engines in them. They're actually a 12 valve, all mechanical engine, just like a lot of your, if you're a Mopar guy or a Dodge guy, 12 valve Cummins were some of the best engines ever built. Uh, they're 210 horsepower. At the start of them, uh, they are powered by twin ultra jet jet pumps. So these boats draft very little water. We have actually river tested both of these boats. So we put them both in the water, run them. Uh, that one we put about an hour and a half, two hours on. This one we put about an hour on. Both these boats, have under 60 original hours on it. That one has got 13 hours on one engine and 34 hours on the other engine. This one's got, I think, 40 and 50 hours on the engine. So super, super low hour setup. Uh, but here are the ultra jets. This is a propulsion of it. If you look, probably one of the largest jet impellers you're gonna see besides for our, our even larger boats, our 39 and a half foot boats. Uh, and the keel coolers, if you look on the underside of the boat and the bottoms of these boats are in absolute gorgeous condition overall very very clean um, so they've got a keel cooling setup that's what helps cool the engine they are a closed loop cooling system on the engine uh, they do have light bars and sirens on them as these did come from a municipality but they've got a large winch on the back for towing what these were designed to do in the military is these were actually a, a, exactly what their name was a bridge erection boat and a push boat that's why you've got the big push bars on the front of them if you notice up at the controls on top of uh, by the steering wheel there you have a forward and reverse for your gates and then you actually have twin engine throttles so you can run each throttle for each engine independently and then you can also run the gates independently of each other so you can throw one full throttle forward one full throttle reverse and the boat will just sit there and spin on itself these are a very very agile boat for a 26 and a half foot boat we'll walk over here to this one just so you can see how clean this one is as well a lot of the bridge erection boats that you see out there um, you know, the bottoms of them are beat up or patched up in multiple places. As you can see there, besides for some scratches, which I think some of these were probably done by us, taking it out and having a little bit of fun, we ran it up to the sandbar. Um, they come on these aluminum trailers. It's a tandem axle trailer. Uh, we put brand new tires on the trailer, went through the wheel bearings, made sure all the brakes and uh, the lights are working. Uh, they're a surge brake style of trailer. Same ultra jets on this unit as the other one. These are pretty much identical boats, both of them. Uh, with the Cummins engines, ultra jet pumps, super, super low hours. As you can see, the winch, it's a little bit easier to get to on this one. They've got a heck of a winch. It's a manual, a mechanical winch, but obviously that it's got that four bolt plate there. You could probably change it out if you wanted to change it to an electronic winch. You know, we offer a Sherpa 25,000 pound synthetic line winch. They work really, really well. Uh, on these 24 volt systems. These, these boats are 24 volt. Uh, you can see water line markings are still on the side. Just overall looking down the side of this boat, how straight and clean it is. I mean, they've got their few little dents, but you can tell these machines were hardly ever used, if at all. And the cutties on top, a uh, nice feature too, is these are actually removable. So that mass folds down for transporting it down the road. We just folded them up for the sake of the video, but this is an aluminum cover here. So it's got a quick disconnect. You simply pop these latches on the front side right here where I'm pointing. You undo those latches. There's a couple of latches inside. You can pull that off and run this thing. When it's a top down day, you can roll it with the top off and really enjoy it. So we're gonna be getting these things listed up on our website here over the next day or two. So be sure to check them out online. We do not get boats like this, this clean very often. I've actually only had two other ones in the last five years. So I'm sure these will go quick and they will make a great home for somebody. Uh, and definitely, hopefully be put to work or maybe put to use for fun. So be sure to check us out online at MidwestMilitaryEquipment.com or give us a call at 636-900-9046. Thanks for watching.